With all the different signal booster options, you may be wondering which one is right for you. We'll cover that in today's video. We'll go over each signal booster and the scenario that they'll work best in. Before I get too far, I want to mention that the installation for any of these boosters is going to be very similar. Just place the magnet mount antenna on the roof of your car and run it inside the vehicle. Then connect it to the booster. If you've got a cradle booster, then you're done right there. All you need to do is plug it in. The booster and the inside antenna are combined into one piece. If you're using one of the other boosters, then you'll just need to attach the inside antenna to the booster and place it somewhere within the vehicle where you're going to need the signal the most. Alright, so now back to the cradle boosters. There are two different cradle boosters, the Drive 3GS and the Drive 4GS. The only difference between the two is that the Drive 3GS boosts 3G signal while the Drive 4GS boosts 3G and 4G. These work really great for a single user. You just slip your phone into the cradle and it will boost the signal for that one phone. It doesn't create an area of signal around the phone, just for the one phone in the cradle. They're also the easiest to install because there's just two pieces. If you need a boost for more than one person, then you want to move on to one of the other signal boosters, like the Drive 4GM or the Drive 4GX. Both of these boosters come in 3G and 4G models. Which model you need just depends on you and your usage. If you're just sending texts and placing calls, then you don't need to spring for the 4G option, which boosts your 4G data as well. And you can save a little cash by going for the 3G model. If you do need to boost your data, then obviously you're going to want to go with the 4G option. These boosters use an inside antenna as opposed to a cradle. So you place this in the car where you're going to need it, and it will send out the signal throughout the vehicle, boosting it for whoever's in the vehicle. So if you're traveling with people, or you need more than one person to use the booster, then one of these boosters is going to be great for you. The Drive 3GM is going to boost the signal for you and up to four friends. This one's great for commuting or going on road trips, things like that, even going out into the hills. But if you're going to get too far away from a cell tower and go out in the boonies, then you're going to want to go with the Drive 4GX. This is the most powerful vehicle signal booster that we make. This will keep you and up to four friends connected while out on the most remote of roads or in the back country. So if you do a lot of hunting or spend a lot of time out in very rural areas, then the Drive 4GX is probably the choice for you. That is unless you go camping a lot with an RV and want to boost the signal for the RV. In that case, you'll want to go with the RV 4G. The RV 4G is designed for recreational vehicles. This keeps you connected while out camping or on the road. It's very similar to our other signal boosters for vehicles, but instead of placing a magnet mount antenna on the roof of your vehicle, you'll place this white antenna on the exterior of the RV or in the window facing out. Then you'll place this little black antenna on the desk or counter in the area where you're going to use the signal. And then it'll broadcast that signal throughout the RV, keeping you connected wherever you need to go. The Drive 3G Flex is somewhat of a hybrid of the other two types of boosters. The inside antenna and booster are combined into one unit. So setup is easy, like a cradle booster, but the Flex supports multiple users, so more than one person can benefit from the boosted signal. Place the Flex on the dash or near the front seat, and it will boost the signal for several users within its boosted range. So I hope that helps you understand the difference between the different signal boosters, and maybe which one is going to work best for you. If you've got any specific questions, please leave those in the comments below. We would be happy to help you out. And please subscribe to our channel. We release videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.